From galaxies to quasars to asteroids, the Sloan Digital Sky Survey has been mapping deep space for the last eight years, helping researchers better understand our universe. From a telescope in New Mexico, the project recently completed its latest round of observations, called SDSS-2. It's set to release that data later this month. The original goals of the project were to uh, get deep digital images of half the northern sky and to make three-dimensional maps by measuring the distances to a million galaxies and 100,000 quasars. Those maps help researchers learn about the ever-expanding universe and why it's speeding up. The telescope's secret weapon is a 120 megapixel camera, which snaps images of the sky about eight times the area of a full moon. A pair of spectrographs can also measure more than 600 galaxies and quasars in a single observation. Astronomers conducted the project in two phases. The first phase, SDSS-1, completed operations in June 2005, measuring spectra of more than 675,000 galaxies and 90,000 quasars. SDSS-2 carried out the second leg with three distinct surveys. The Sloan Legacy Survey, which continued building on the first phase's maps, as well as two new ones, called Segway and the Sloan Supernova Survey. One of which was to map the distribution of, of stars in the Milky Way, and the other of which was to repeatedly scan the same area of sky and look for, for supernovae. Data was released to the scientific community and the general public in annual increments. That information has assisted other researchers in ways no one anticipated. Astrophysicist Andy Puckett used it to help track down far-flung asteroids and other minor celestial bodies. As the camera scans across the sky, they take images in five filters, one after the other after the other, in about a five-minute time period. So you can combine three of those that are in the visible wavelengths into a color image. And so anything that moved would look like a red dot and a green dot and a blue dot. The project recently began its third evolution, a six-year program comprised of four surveys. One of the, the sort of flagship of the SDSS-3 surveys is something that will extend this three-dimensional map. And here the goal is, is again to go after understanding the cause of the acceleration of the universe. The other surveys will focus on the nature of dark matter and the formation of the Milky Way galaxy. For Discovery News, I'm Jorge Ribas.